Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the Dachshund. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Also, if you're struggling to train your dog or are thinking about getting a puppy, then affordable online professional training is what we suggest. See the link in the description and the pinned comment for more info. Dachshund Overview The Dachshund, also known as a Tekel, originated in Germany in the 16th century. They were bred and trained to chase down prey, such as a badger or fox, enter its burrow, kill it, and retrieve it. In German the word Dax means badger and the word Hund means dog. Their short legs allows them to easily enter badger dens. The breed is still used for hunting, primarily in Europe, but in North America this dog is usually a family pet. The Dachshund was recognized as a breed by the American Kennel Club in 1885. As always, the pros are up first, an ideal dog for apartment and city living. Needs only moderate exercise. Makes a keen watchdog. Good with other family pets, especially other Dachshunds. Comes in a variety of smallish sizes, coats, and colors. Comical, entertaining, and loyal to his family. Usually lives a long life. Now it's time for some cons, chasing and hunting instincts. Prone to separation anxiety. Super stubborn streak and strong-willed. Potential for digging holes. Notorious housebreaking difficulties. Potential for excessive barking. Excessive suspiciousness towards strangers when not socialized properly. Physical characteristics contribute to back problems. Interesting facts. Dachshund named Waldy was the first official mascot of Olympic Games held in Munich in 1972. Andy Warhol and Pablo Picasso were proud owners of Dachshunds. The first British dog to be successfully cloned was a doxy named Winnie. A doxy named Chanel hold the Guinness World Record for oldest living dog until 2009, when she died at 21. They were heavily used in the anti-German propaganda during World War I. To protect these canines from unnecessary hate, the AKC renamed this breed as Badger Dogs and as Liberty Pups. There is a competition known as Wienerschnitzel Wiener Nationals that takes place every year and in it, hundreds of Dachshunds compete with each other in a racing format. Hot dogs were named after these quirky-looking canines and were originally called as Dachshund Sausages. Appearance, Doxy has elongated head, flap-down ears, large chest, long muscular body, short legs and long tail. They come in three different sizes, the standard, miniature, and caninchin, translated as rabbit. The standard usually weigh between 16 and 32 pounds and were used to hunt badgers and wild boars. The miniatures weigh up 11 pounds and under as an adult. If your doxy weighs between 11 and 16 pounds, he's called a tweeny. Standard dachshund can reach 8 to 9 inches height while miniature can reach 5 to 6 inches. Doxies can have smooth, wire-haired, or long-haired coats. Wire-haired doxies tend to be the most energetic, most mischievous, and most obstinate. Long-haired doxies tend to be the quietest and sweetest natured. Smooth doxies are most apt to attach themselves to one person and more aloof with strangers. Common colors are red, cream, black and tan, black and cream, chocolate and tan, blue and tan, and Isabella, fawn, and tan. Doxies also can have patterns in their coats, such as dapple, brindle, sable, and piebald. They gives birth to four to eight puppies. Dachshunds have a pretty decent lifespan of about 12 to 16 years. Grooming and shedding. Dachshunds have low to moderate grooming requirements. Both the smooth-coated and wire-haired only need weekly brushing of their coat to remove loose hair. On the other hand, long-haired doxy should be brushed at least two to three times a week to avoid matting or tangling issues. Their bathing needs are fairly low and occasional baths and cleaning sessions are more than enough to remain neat and tidy. Their nails should be trimmed whenever necessary and teeth should be brushed at least once or twice every week. Dachshunds are very minimal shedders and shed their fur on an occasional basis. They are not hypoallergenic canines. 
Cost, on average a Dachshund puppy will cost $850 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $450 and $1,500. The average price of a Dachshund puppy in India is around 15,000 to 25,000 rupees. Price can vary depending on gender, pet quality, size, breeding lineage, color and markings, coat type, location etc. Exercise and trainability, Dachshunds have fairly moderate exercise requirements. Daily slow-paced walks either in a park or a garden are good for them. Regular light-hearted play sessions are also necessary for their mental well-being and happiness. Training a Dachshund is not extremely hard if a well-experienced and knowledgeable owner, trainer is involved. But for most people, these canines can be a bit challenging to train. They are little stubborn in nature and also have an independent personality. Reward-based training methods have also proved to be fairly effective while training. Once they set their eyes on prey, they're not likely to listen to any commands. Dachshunds are fairly intelligent canines and have decent learning and thinking skills. Their problem-solving and decision-making abilities are also up to the mark as well. According to The Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Koren, Dachshund is ranked 49. They understanding of new commands 25 to 40 repetitions and obey first command 50% of the time or better. Most Dachshunds don't like to swim in a big pool or in a lake. These pooches have extremely short legs that don't allow them to efficiently paddle inside the water. Still if you want to take your Dachshund swimming, then proper supervision and protection are highly necessary. Barking, Dachshunds are frequent barkers and love to express their feelings through their voice. These pooches can sometimes be a little noisy to their family members. If someone wants to control their habit of excessive barking, then it's important to start training from early age. Weather and climate, Dachshunds are not known to be highly tolerant of cold and chilly weather conditions. These pooches should be kept warm and cozy if the temperature starts to dip below 10 degree. They should mostly be kept inside their homes during extremely harsh and colder months of the year. Dachshunds have an above average tolerance to heat and high temperatures. They can survive comfortably in a moderately hot area. If the weather conditions are too hot and uncomfortable, they require a lot of care and protection from their owners. Friendliness, your Dachshund will probably be a one-person dog. Dachshunds are not very cordial with strangers and reserved with the new people if they find suspicious. If you want your dog to be more friendly and social in nature, then proper training and early socialization is must. They are known to be more friendly and kind to the feline family than they are with other canines. These pooches are generally mix well with other household pets such as cats. This is a decent breed for people who are looking to raise a dog and a cat at the same time. Generally, Dachshunds are not considered to be a highly canine-friendly breed. These pooches aren't known for getting along well with other dogs, and they can be aggressive towards them. A lot of training and socialization is required to make a Dachshund more sociable with other canines. Dachshund can be fairly friendly with small kids if properly trained and socialized. Adaptability. Doxies are great apartment dogs and very adjustable in nature. These canines adapt to the apartment lifestyle easily and don't have very high exercise or work needs. They are known to remain fairly inactive and relaxed inside their homes. Dachshunds can live alone without the attention and care of their owners for a few hours in a day. If these pooches are continually left alone, then it can really bad effect on their health and mental state. These pooches can gradually become very sad and frustrated due to extended loneliness and that might lead to several bad habits such as furniture chewing, incessant barking etc. If you want a canine that can leave alone for long time in a day, then Dachshund might not be the best choice. Guard dog, technically, Dachshunds do make fairly decent guard dogs. The more appropriate term for these canines would be excellent watchdogs. These pooches can effectively look after or protect their homes and property by alerting their owners in case of an intruder, a burglar, or a trespasser and makes them an awesome watchdog. Drooling. Dachshunds do not drool a lot. They mostly drool before or after having their meal. But apart from this, they don't drool all that much. 
Health issues. Doxies are normally quite healthy and fine, if fed properly and looked after carefully. Common health problems found in Dachshunds are, intervertebral disc disease is a horrible condition causing extreme pain, and even paralysis. They are prone to a form of hereditary blindness, PRA, found in many purebred dogs. Another health concern for the breed is Lefora's disease, a form of late-onset epilepsy. Lefora's affects approximately 10% of mini wire-haired doxies. It likes to eat and easily gains weight, which negatively affects health of the back. Have you had any experience with Dachshund? We'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.